Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. This is Merrick here, back with another daily chess puzzle video. Um, this is day 223 of posting chess puzzles every day for you. And this one is black to move. White just played pawn to h3, attacking the bishop on g4. And so please pause the video now, comment down below what you think the answer is, and I will be back in a couple of seconds. So, um, first things first, we brainstorm some candidate moves, and we look at the position and assess it. So, um, currently, the pawn is attacking our bishop on g4. We have bishop takes f3 as an option, and rook takes d3. Um, so let's look at rook takes d3 first. Rook takes d3, bishop takes d3 is what white will play. And then, um, here we have, uh, again, two options. Um, bishop takes f3 or e4. Bishop takes f3, g takes f3, and rook d8 is winning, right? We win this bishop on d3, since if the bishop moves, we take the bishop on d2, and if white tries to do something like this, we can take, take, and take. So yeah, this is winning, right? But um, we have to look for, what's it called? The not, not very obvious moves. So white can even just play h takes g4, and after like rook d8, um, white is down in exchange, sure, but um, has the two bishops, and so this position won't be as easy to win as um, one might think. Um, so let's say, for example, rook e1 could be white's next move, just putting pressure on this pawn and um, preparing to play bishop takes c6 um, after the bishop on d2 is protected. So, I mean, this is a pretty okay plan for white, since it's not very clear what black should do in this position. So this is why, um, instead of playing rook takes d3, we play bishop takes f3 first. Because after bishop takes f3, white can't take with the rook since we take on d2. Um, if white takes with the bishop, we take on d3, that's a free rook. And so white will have to take with the pawn. And now we play rook takes d3, bishop takes d3. So you guys recognize this position? Well, yeah, it's the same exact position after um, rook takes d3, bishop takes d3, bishop takes f3. But now... Um, we didn't give white the chance of playing h takes g4. So this is just a better way of transposing into this position, where we will play the same exact move. Rook d8, same logic, bishop b3, bishop takes e3, f takes e3, rook takes e3, and we are completely winning. So thank you for watching, and I will see you in day 224, and have a wonderful day. Uh, drop feedback down uh, in the comment section if you have any... Um, questions or um, suggestions for me. Have a wonderful day and thank you.